perfect pitch on a perfect day in this stadium. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. And our football today is from the EFL League One. It is Forest Green Rovers against Blackpool. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to it. I think we're going to have an entertaining tussle here. I think we'll find that out in the first ten minutes, how these teams approach the task. Let's have a look at uh, a player on each side, Alan, who could influence the game today. Well, they could. Two crowd favourites, two favourites of the managers as well, and you can understand why, given the talent they've both got. This is the Forest Green Rovers side today. Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five, that midfield five, and I think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone front man. Thank you, and This is the Blackpool team for this match. Well, it looks like all hands to the defensive pump. At least they've got two forwards. Yes, and uh, hopefully they will get some service, but uh, it is capable, this shape, of being pretty negative. What is this game going to bring us? We'll find out now. We're off for the first half. Switch the play beautifully. Here's Grant, and the defender tidies that up. Now Grant. He's got skill with the ball, backing himself in these circumstances. Adams. Dawson. He's one possession. Set up to play on the break now. Not a great cross, really, for the goalkeeper. An easy piece of work. Goal news from Bristol Rovers. It's a goal for Bristol Rovers. Six minutes played, 1-0. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Dawson. Here's Grant. Lovely ball. Oh, they open the scoring here. It's a good start. It's a flying start, really. Well, that's a poacher's goal. Maybe not his most spectacular, but an important one here. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Well, it's a bit tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Goal, goal news from Number Barnsley. Three. It's a goal for MK Dons. 30 minutes played. 1-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. They've got the ball back by that interception. Dawson. That's not what he wanted to do, a poor pass. Guy. Well, 
Well, here he goes. It's good to see a player do this. Dawson. Must be a goal! Tried to find the winning ticket in the raffle, but a couple of numbers short. Yes, he took it early, though. Goal news involving Bristol Rovers. It's a goal for the visitors. 22 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks, Alan. Guy. And that'll be a throw. Adams. Happy birthday to Nathan Walker celebrating his birthday. The attacking team have got a problem here because the opposition are just sitting in and saying, well, you can break us down if you can. They think perhaps they can't break them down. Just a mistake, really. He's not even asked too much of the opponent. It's just a mishit pass. Feeney. Giving the ball away now. Now, can he take them on? Gets that wrong and he's in trouble, but he got it absolutely right. A goal from uh, Barnsley. It's a goal from Barnsley. 29 minutes played, 1-1. That's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date. Could whip it in from here. Danger was looming large, but they've got themselves back on the ball. shot well he scored and it's a big moment for them in the match they've pushed their lead now to two ahead they played well to this point but sometimes a two goal lead can be a dangerous one we'll see well the keepers not quite close to it but from outside the box the the power of the shots done for him well here's the goal again Restarting at 2-0. Goal for the hosts, number seven, Carl Winchester. Guy. And now a throw-in. Goal news from Bristol Rovers. It's a second goal for the visitors. 35 minutes played, 2-1. Cheers, Alan. The hosts had more than enough of the ball today. The way that... Shots on here. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Really snatched at the shot, and it's gone well wide. This does look promising. Needed to be brave, and he was. Feeney. Throw in coming up. Now Grant. The defenders managed to get in the way there.
corner played in. There's still danger here after this half clearance. Looking for goal now. And the keeper can catch that one, no, no problem at all. Three minutes from the referee via the fourth official. That's the decision regarding added time. He's cut that out well, well read. Dawson. Keeping the ball well under some pressure. Now Grant. Well, he wants to run at them with the ball. It's good to see. And there goes the whistle for half-time. And the scoreline is 2-0. He is a man in form, I would say, today. What I like about him, he's got that short back lift, he shoots quickly before the keeper can get set, and that's how he got his goal. What is this game going to bring us? We'll find out now. We're off to the first half. Scoring here, it's a good start, it's a flying start, really. Must be a goal! Tried to find the winning ticket in the raffle, but a couple of numbers short. Yes, he took it early, though. And now the shot! Well, he scored! And it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They've... Really snatched at the shot, and it's gone well wide. The defenders managed to get in the way there. Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. And it's gone out for a throw. Goes out wide again. And that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in. Adams. Can he deal with it here? Keep you right up to date during this match with what's going on elsewhere. And here's Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Queen's Park Rangers. 50 minutes played. 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Well, when the transfer window is open, you know Manchester City will be looking. And this time they've done more than look. They've bought. Opening them up with a through pass. To finish it off. Super block.
Corner played into the middle. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Well, that's not so much an interception as a poor pass. Well, they're getting the ball forward, they need to do that. He's in here! Well, they managed to get out of harm's way then, because it looked as though there was going to be some real damage done to them. Goal news now from Bristol Rovers. It's a third goal for the visitors. 60 minutes played, 3-1. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Real chance. It's great defending. Oh, great chance. The pressure has told, and they've caved in, really. Well, we all knew what was coming. Certainly the opposition did, but they could do nothing to stop it happening out there. Well, they've increased their lead here, and that could just wrap up the match. Yeah, no, the much better team out here today, and that scoreline reflects that. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. So they restart again, a bit demoralised now, I think, in a game like this. Decision is a throw, it was a fair tackle. Thompson, Guy. Now, can he cross it? He's dealt with it well, the defender. It wasn't the worst cross. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. Well, I'm hearing that there has been a goal elsewhere, and Alan McAnally is the man on the spot. Alan. It's a goal for Oxford United. 68 minutes played. 1-1. Thanks, Alan. Well, we'll follow that with interest. Should be. The defenders managed to get in the way there. Well, Alan, it is the substitution now. Well, he's done his bit. He got the goal that put his team in the lead. Can they hold that lead? Here comes the corner. It's not really a way. Poor clearance. Goalkeeper's done well. And Mills. It's become a rather defensive policy here with a team that's camped really in its own half at the moment. And that does let the opposition have free possession. They can really come at you, it's risky. Adams. Excellent work with the tackle. Goal news involving Barnsley. It's a second goal for Barnsley. 74 minutes played, 2-1. And we're back here again, thanks to Alan McAnally. Well, they're having to defend, aren't they? So he's come deep and he's got hold of the ball and they can build off him. Substitute coming up for the away team. 
taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well. And they've spread it out wide here. And it's Williams. Cuts it out nicely. Ten minutes left of regular time. Guy. Excellent attacking play here. They could open up the opposition now. Good interception. Power, but no placement. Yeah, a little wild in his technique there. Never got set. Well, it's going to be a substitution now. To be replaced by... And the winger now takes his leave of the game, having had an impact on the game. Well, you don't get too many players of this calibre these days who, who can plow on the wing and track back as well. He's got a good work ethic. Adams. Still seven minutes left on the clock. But he's better than that. It's a poor pass. Well, they had the runner going through and the pass wasn't quite right, was it? It was too strong. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Please give a round of applause for today's man of the match, number seven, Carl. Winchester. And the referee spotted that deflection, he's pointed for the corner. In goes the corner. Well, Mr. Smith's eyes lit up alongside me, and he's only on the gantry. You'd love to have taken that chance. You would have taken that chance. Well, I think it's one of those. He's just lost concentration. He's probably thought he's going to score before he's made connection. Still a chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. And it's Williams. He's blocked that well. It's a useful position, this, for the free kick. Well, the keeper knows. He knows he's got a shot to face here. They never let up, did they? They kept on going to make this a very big margin of victory. Yeah, they were ruthless, actually. Quite often, last 10 or 15, you, you ease off, but this team didn't. to find the winning ticket in the raffle, but a couple of numbers short. Yes, he took it early, though. And now the 
shot. Well, he scored, and it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. Really snatched at the shot, and it's gone well wide. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished. It's great defending with the block. Oh, great chance. The pressure has told. And they've caved in, really. Well, we all knew what was coming, certainly the opposition. The defenders managed to get in the way there. In goes the corner. Well, Mr Smith's eyes lit up alongside me and he's only on the gap.